There's an advanced technique for the Splatana Stamper that doesn't exactly speed up its time to splat in theory, but does make it more consistent that you get the fastest time to splat possible, and probably will save you time over the other method, even with flawed execution. When you go from a charged vertical slash to a horizontal slash, so one of the most common combos that deals lethal damage, you want to get the horizontal slash out as quickly as possible, but there are recovery frames from the vertical slash. If you press ZR for the horizontal slash too early, and they happen during the recovery frames, the horizontal slash might not come out. So unless you're frame perfect every time, you're theoretically losing time between the two attacks, because you'll need to err on the side of doing the attack later than you really need to, in order to make sure that the horizontal slash input doesn't get eaten. However, if you very quickly go into squid form during the recovery frames of the vertical slash, you can now get the vertical slash out, but then buffer the horizontal slash. That is, you can press ZR earlier than the end of the vertical slash, and it will just queue up the horizontal slash so that it executes as soon as the vertical slash is finished. In terms of the inputs, this just means that a short time into the vertical slash animation, you tap ZL and ZR at about the same time. I recorded 8 attempts using this buffer technique, and counted how many frames it took to go from the first moment the stamper moves out of the charging animation of the vertical slash, to when the horizontal slash's projectile spawns. Without using the buffer technique, my fastest attempt took 35 frames, and I averaged around 36 to 37. With the buffer technique, I got three attempts that were all tied for the fastest at 32 frames, and only two of my eight attempts were slower than 35 frames. It's not a drastic time save in my case, only a tenth of a second at the absolute most, but it clearly is more consistent for me to be using the buffer technique, and since it's so easy to execute and it can't mess you up any worse than you could mess up the other technique, there's not really a reason not to be doing it every time you're trying to perform this combo. It works exactly the same way in the air or out of squid rolling, so if you just get used to doing this in every situation where you want to use that combo, you'll speed your gameplay up a tiny bit without making it too much more difficult for you. Special thanks to Isa for reaching out to inform me about this and providing some information about the technique and its properties.